Welcome back everyone to another ESO build video. Today I'm trying I'm gonna make this fairly fast if I can. Um my previous tank build uh was a little outside the box and very 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 strong. And it's not necessarily for beginners, although beginners can use it and survive very well, but it's all about resource management. It's very high health, very high damage shield, all that kind of stuff, with low stamina. And if you aren't capable of heavy attacking properly and you don't fully understand the bosses, that's gonna be quite tough. Um, this tank is pretty much for everybody, mostly, um, or most importantly, you can farm this as a new player, you can use it as a new player, and you're going to get really, really good results. There's two types of tanks in the game, um, apart from the end game ones that cry, there's only one way to use a tank, but basically the, the flat stat versions of the tank is this, you have high health, low stam, or high stam, low health. High stam and low health means you basically rely on a healer and you have to hold block all day or you die. High health and low stam means you can self-sustain pretty well with your own health but you have to heavy attack a lot to get your stam back. This one does both. This one has very high stamina, very high health. He also has capped or close to capped resists. He also has very high magic recovery which means your actual sustain is also very very high. Um, and instead of having the usual, oh my god, how do you get that gear, I don't get in trials, which is fair. There's some people that don't get in them, there's some people that don't even like them. Um, you don't have to go in trials to get it. You can just go in dungeons and open world PvE. Um, we'll start straight away with the stats actually because we need to see those. Um, pop a potion. We are sitting on a nice comfy 45,000 health and 30,000 stamina with 1.8k magical recovery, 35k spell resist and 32k physical resist. You are an actual tank. You can get smacked in the face and not care and you can block all day if you need to. Stats are split across the board, 32-32, that pushes us to 30 and 45. Astronaut Mundestone, increase in magic recovery. Vampire, I oh, will get to those passives, they are very important. And we're using max health, max stamp food. Now, you can change your food to max health and magic recovery, which will then, with a potion, come on, come on, come on. I haven't got crafted ones on me, so I need to pop a new one. With a potion, push you to 2.5k magic recovery. You'll drop very slightly in health, you'll drop a little bit in stamina, which you've still got loads of. You resist, don't get affected, and you can spam this more. And then you put the other ones on and you do it again and you can keep it up for ages. Have a heal as well, treat yourself. Use some stam, get some stam back. It's mental. Look, you, your magic comes back. Three, two, one, done. Three, two, one, done. <laughs> your magic recovery's nuts. Okay. But um personal preference, just for the well, it's actually just for the purpose of the video. Um, max health, max stam. Skills, very simple. Ignis shield, big shield for you, big shield for your group, increases your healing done after you press it. And as you just saw, we spam it, because we can. This heal, use it after Ignis shields. The lower your health, the bigger the heal. So if we use Ignis shields first, 51% of your missing health, the stuff that's missing. So if you are really, really low, you're gonna get a bigger heal. And with this new patch, it's gonna crit, and also it's gonna give you minor uh, minor vitality, it's switching over from coagulating bread to this. Now I know obviously that the PC have got the patch now, PS4 and Xbox you'll get in about four days time. So this is the new better heal of the two. Uh, taunt from the sword and board abilities, physical resistance and spell resistance reduction and taunts for 15 seconds. Really really strong. Absorb Magicka, same applies, it heals you for 19% of your max health if you put Igneous Shields on first that will be stronger. Here's an example. 23%, not 19. Massive damage shield versus spell projectiles, and if you get hit by one, it will heal you for that amount. And it also, while slotted, reduces your block cost. Bone shield, I've took bone surge for this. It absorbs 33% of your max health, and 66% of up to four people after someone pops the synergy, and also gives them minor vitality, increasing their heals. Very strong shield, and it stacks with this one. So let's switch bars, put this on. See, fills, they both stack. And then Absorb Magic goes on top of that as well. You can keep your shields up forever and not really take any damage. Back bar, ah, ultimate. Sword and board ultimate. This is your oh shit button. 
and I would recommend everybody to use it. It's very, very powerful in case you are very low ultimate and you need a quick fix. Um, it makes you block for free automatically for seven seconds and makes all of your sword and board abilities, including the Zord Magicka and the Torn, free. So they don't cost anything for seven seconds. So if you're on the axes and for some reason you cop a, a stun and you just break out of it and you haven't got enough stam left, pop this, retorn everything back to normal. There's lots of situations that can happen in, but very, very powerful. And also since the Homestead patch, which we'll receive again, PS4 and Xbox, you'll get it in four days time. Uh, this was buggy. It used to knock you down on bosses, but you'd still mitigate the damage. Now it doesn't knock you down anymore. So this is very strong. Back bar, volatile armor. You'll see that I um, had spikes coming out of my back. They ping across the room. That is purely to gain aggro very quickly as I enter a room. If anyone then hits that target, they'll get aggro, but it's a good starting point as you run in. Um, and it increases your resists. Minor maim and minor heroism. So you debuff the boss by 15% of its damage. And you also gain ultimate every 1.5 seconds for 9 seconds. So that's very good. Range Taunt, also your group can synergize it for a nice big AoE, which is pretty cool. Chains, this is used, it's situational. If you need to pull chains to get adds in and then root them on spot, use these two abilities combined. Some dungeons and trials and such do not have things that you can chain. So in those situations, I would use Invigorate and Drain when the opportunity arises. Don't use it all the time, just when you can, because this will build ultimate very, very fast, five ultimate a second. And it also heals you for 25% of your missing health, even more so if you pop big in your shield first. So if you're on off tank, for example, or on an easy boss who's not hurting you very much, keep spamming this and you've got war horns coming out of you left, right and center. Elusive Mist, I use this very situational. It's basically my way of getting around very fast if I need to, if I'm pulling ranged ads, for example, so I can position them. I also use this as an oh shit button in AA, because if you get stunned or you're short of stamina, which you shouldn't be, but if you are, and, and just an oh shit situation, the axes will actually reduce the damage they do to you. War priests in trials also completely bloody miss. Um, it's really, really strong. So in the right situation, that's powerful, but don't use it on bosses specifically, on an actual boss, because their hit will negate the, uh, the immunity. But try it out. It's very powerful in PvE in the right places. But in the meantime, just have these two on. Also, I do switch out that slot occasionally um, for deep breath for area of effect interrupts. Make sure you, you morph it to deep breath. And I slot that basically where the claws are if there's no ads to pin. Warhorn, aggressive Warhorn. I know there's loads of arguments about this online, but if you go to the, f I'm not even gonna need, gonna need to explain it. Go to the forum, look at the patch notes, and there's a little spoiler button. Zenimax put these in recently for people to press on, although people aren't pressing it. Press that button, it will tell you that Warhorn hasn't changed, they just changed the way they calculate it. The damage is still fine, so don't panic, and people are still going to use it anyway, it would be stupid not to. Um, this is pretty much it. Get all the passes for the DK on Draconic Power and Earth and Heart. Your most important one is this, Earth and Heart, uh, sorry, Helping Hands, gives you stamina back every time you pop big near shields. Then the other important ones is this one gives you ultimate every time you hit Ignis Shields and gives other people minor brutality. That's a cooldown of 6 seconds obviously. And Battle Roar, which is essential I guess because if you pop an ultimate, you get resources back. That's how you stay alive. Now, Sword and Board, get all the passives. Heavy Armor, we're using 7 Heavy, all the passives. Vampire, get Recovery and Undeath reason is because the lower your health the less damage you take fighters guild i only have this for purely one reason obviously this gives you ultimate but the main reason is for this 20 percent reduction to cost sometimes i slot this eight percent reduction to damage um it's got 20 second timer on it now in the homestead patch so it's very very powerful in the right situations but you can switch it out undaunted get all those you need those get them uh support obviously warhorn which we've already got. Nord, we are a Nord, obviously, because we get more max stam, we get more health and cold resist for God knows why, and 6% reduction to damage. It used to be eight, but six now. Also the last one, medicinal use. Increases the time of your potions. Very, very powerful. 
and let's have a look at the champion points this is not set in stone this is just the way I like to do it these can change depending on the situation but I split them down the middle dot reduction in damage very nice as well hit and receive 10 points mostly for then I can get 10 points here for this passive which reduces the damage you take while you're resurrecting someone and you probably will be then I've got 30 points in Bastion because I'm using damage shields a lot and increases the size of them which then also gives me this passive here which gives people a recovery if I res them magic reduction cost because I use a lot of magic abilities you can put some into here as well if you like but you've got a lot of stamina you're going to get a lot of stamina back you should be fine and also if you pop any ultis you get your stuff back and if you pop the block ulti your taunts are free so it's fine um, magic recovery very important as much as you can possibly get and four points into heavy attack bonuses I do heavy attack a lot it's force of habit that's how I usually tank so I don't really run out of resources and that's a nice little buffer there there are some more CPs coming in a few days time but we can you can distribute them wherever you want I mean you can put some more into into resists then you can put some more into here or into recovery and on the last tree I go full heals full crits and you can just pump your 13 points in here and max it out if you like the rest of the trees I don't really bother with anything you can use vigor on the tank if you like because you've got a lot of stam but I personally don't but that's a choice you can make now the sets at the moment obviously as you can see if I switch bars I lose stamina that's a bug and it's fixed in the homestead patch so three or four days time that will be no longer a problem so don't panic sets plague doctor on the body all sturdy on small pieces reinforced in all the large pieces if you can get them although I didn't on the hands now this is very easy to farm and I'll show you where in a moment but the legs are quite rare so either buy them or just persist and you will get them eventually but they're quite rare they just don't drop very often um, but this is soloable if you're on a decent DPS or just run around with some friends smacking the bosses or just wait for people to turn up they're farmed all the time uh, pirate skeleton helmet in reinforced in heavy that comes from black heart haven I'll also show that on the map as well use that for the two resist bonuses on the one piece then I use what I call the wonky Chewbacca set I use the shoulder um, which also gives you spell and physical resist as well when they stack together the reason I don't use a full pirate skeleton because I mean it is godlike it's very very powerful but it's bugged at the moment when the animation kicks in when you turn into a skeleton it drops your block and it drops your ability to bar swap so until they fix that I'm not using it when they do I'll switch out the other set is a Hulk and Drugger, sword and board, axe, uh, sword, one piece, defending one hander on the front with a sturdy or reinforced shield if you can get it, and then the back bar, uh, get good traits if you can, but I didn't, doesn't matter. And then the jewelry. Now, uh, I should probably show you what they do. Max stam, max stam, max stam, loads and loads of stamina, there's your block, and then max health, max health, healing received, and then a shit ton of health. So you're got really high resist really high health really high stam you've got everything you need magic enchants on all the jewelry and I did miss a champion point where is it here I've also got some points into block reduction you don't really need it but some people like it so that's just to satisfy some of those out there that prefer that put some points in there now I'll show you where the sets drop real quick Blackheart Haven is where you get the Pirate Skeleton Helmet. Grab some friends, go and activity finder, whichever. Make sure you go into Veteran because that's when the helmet drops and that's where you get that from. Now the Wonky Chewbacca, I'm calling it that because it's sticking. As soon as I heard Mighty Chew Down, that's all I could think of. It's Jabba in Return of the Jedi, but I'm a little strange, so what do you expect? Um, you can get that from the Undaunted chest. Uh, the middle one, in fact, is the DLC one. So throw a few keys into that. Hopefully you'll get it. Um, I did want a sturdy trait, but I didn't get it, so I just divines for now, which is fine because I get more right recovery anyway. Plague Doctor, I literally rotated these four bosses until I got everything I needed. And then, apart from the legs, which I actually bought, um, but everything else I just got from these guys here. Um, you can also go into the public dungeon as well, where the weapons also drop, but then they do here as well. I've seen a couple. Um, and also, quite possibly, a few other pieces that are quite nice. But I don't get the weapons. I've got them, I don't use them, I use Hulk and Drugger. So, rotate these four bosses, 
grab your loot there. And the last one is Hulking Drugger. Die Frost Keep. You do need a minimum of two people because you have to stand on pressure pads to open a stupid door. But go on Veteran to get the purple jewelry. Go on Normal or Veteran to get the weapons from either chests or the last boss. Um, if RNG is on your side, you'll get them straight away. If not, keep farming. But all of this is farmable in a very small group. You don't need to do trials, you don't need to be trial geared, you don't need to be all special this, that and the other. And you can tank just about anything in the game with two very high stats alongside your resists and everything else you've got. Like I said, most, most tanks have one of these two bars, you've got both. So everybody's happy, even though they won't be in the comment section below. I'm gonna get screamed at because I'm not using Evan and Alkosh. But... So hopefully that helped. Yes, there's loads of other tank sets in the game. Yes, there's loads of sets that aren't tank sets that people are using. And yes, people are gonna complain. But if you want to tank, you want to learn to tank, or maybe you just like tanking this way, this is probably for you. Um, I do have alternative setups which involve a lot of trial gear, but as I know, and as a lot of you out there may know also, not everybody run trials. The game is absolutely enormous. There's so much content to see. It's not all about bloody VMOL. So hopefully this caters for the people that appreciate the game as a whole rather than just want to sit in one trial all day long. So there you go. Easy setup, easy tank, no trial gear required. Anyone can get it. Everybody has. I think the only thing that would be an issue is if you don't have the DLC because then you can't open the chest. Although I'm not 100% on that. You may be able to open the chest still. If not, don't worry, use use another shoulder, get some more health or something, put a Vulcan Scorer on just for the sake of it, doesn't matter. Um, the fact is you have loads of health, loads of stam, good resists, you have everything you need. No, we don't have Ebon on, but if you want to go farm Ebon, go farm Ebon. If you want to use something else, use something else. Um, there's only so many sets you can put on, every build video is not going to have all 100 or so sets on it. This is just another alternative to tanking, which should satisfy most people struggling with either one or the two resources, whether it be health or stam. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. We're about to hit a thousand subscribers, which means I've got to dish out some shinies when it happens. I'll put a video for that together soon. Um, I'll see what I'm going to do with that one. I may be giving some stuff away for the PS4 EU server, because that's the one I'm on. But, we'll see. Okay, I'd also like to make a shout out to Feral69 and Siribo from Valhalla's Wrath for helping me acquire some of the pieces because my RNG sucks and I think I got a shield and a ring off of Siri and definitely the one-hander from Feral. So yeah, that was awesome too. Um, I will be putting together, as I said, a video very shortly for the 1,000 subscribers once we hit it because I think we're like 12 people away from that now um, and I'll be giving some stuff away then. And also, with the upcoming patch, once that lands, I'll be updating the previous build videos, because I know a lot of you have been asking what happens when the patch lands. Don't panic, they still work just as well. In fact, they work even better. But, for now, thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that subscribe button, it is free. And I shall see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.